I was walking along the street the other day, and I got a curious sign. It read, licensed to sell tea, coffee, tobacco, and snuff. Now I ask you, do you think that's right? Hmm. So do I. And then, it said, foreign and British wine sold here. Do you think that's right? Hmm. So do I. <laughs> and then it said, families supplied. Now, do you think that's right? So did I. So I went right in, and I ordered one wife and 13 children. <laughs> but the man said he didn't have any children about. Oh. None at all. But he said he could make me some by tomorrow. <laughs>
I think that with the moves, I think it's just that the moves have got to be with your body. Yes. In the same size, it's got to be the same size yes. as the arms. Yes. So I think if you want to move, it's then you should, you should move Irving-like. Okay. So that, but, but I think the idea is to move and picture, mm -hmm. rather than to move. Yeah. Does that make sense? So, so, to, so create the pose, move and strike the next. Yes, I mean you can let the line take you, mm. but I think if the, if the, that each time you stop, there is the picture. I think that would be right to the Irving style and to the style of melodrama. You're always forming the picture. Thou rememberest well. It was a dark and tempestuous night. A sudden and violent storm broke o'er our heads. The rain fell in torrents. And the forked lightning flashed the murky skies. The horrid artillery of heaven rolled as if to break the fiery element, as though nature itself was returned again to chaos. Then a voice was heard, a giant's voice could be heard above the roaring waters. A voice that proclaimed from east to west, from north to south, from hill to hill, and from cataract to cavern. A voice for the affrighted world to hear. Everyone got a clean shirt for Sunday. Bravo, bravo, bravo. That puts me in mind of my sweetheart. You saw her, didn't you? Such a beautiful creature. Her eyes of diamond brightness. Her teeth of pearly whiteness. Her skin of alabaster smoothness. And her mouth crammed full of gingerbread. Ugh. You saw her on it, didn't you? I gave her that. And you saw her boots, did you not? Mm -hmm. I gave her those. And did you notice her jacket? Mm -hmm. I gave her that. And surely you noticed her eyes. Yes, they were black. And I gave her them and all. <laughs> Come on, put them up. Put them up there. Come on, what kind of man are you? Come on, hey, hey. I do like to see things well done, even if it is only potatoes. And talking of potatoes, now through this busy world I'll scan the simile of a potato to a man. Potatoes spring from the earth, and so does man. Potatoes are buried in the earth, and so is man. Potatoes have skin. <laughs> and so does man. Potatoes have eyes. <laughs> and so does a man. Potatoes are often in stews. <laughs> and so are men. So you see, humanity resembles potatoes. Soldiers are red hot. Potatoes. Sailors are watery. Potatoes. Shoemakers are waxy. Potatoes. Bakers are flowery. Potatoes. Old people are late. Potatoes. Young people are early. Potatoes. Young ladies are blooming. Potatoes. And we hope they never get nipped in the bud. But policemen are blue potatoes and very often make bad peelers. I thought the bit that interested me, and I'd be interested to know what you thought about it, was also the violence. 
in a sense, the clown, you know, there is a violent clown mm. in, in this, mm. in this gag book. And how much we've shied away from that now, how much we've gone towards clown as this sort of sympathetic... Paliarch. ...character you can put on your daughter's do that. I hate, I hate yeah. that aspect of clowning. Absolutely. That actually clowns are, they're robust and they're given licence to speak on behalf of and to be barbed and to... You know, that's why he's able to say, you know, this stuff, the, the kind of philosophical mm. statement about society and to go, you know, policemen are aware. Yeah, a clown now would never be allowed to say all policemen. They'd be able to blow a raspberry, but that would be about it. My advice, the best in existence. It's rare on the world's kindness to call. And if ever you claim its assistance, make the world think you don't want it at all. No doubt you may find it surprising, but it's true, though I speak as a clown, the world will help those who are rising, but will trample on those who are down.